In the early days of the world, man didn't exist. But twerking Oliphants did. Oons, oons, oons. But then man did appear, and he looked off, wondering what his place was in the world. What is his purpose? So he crafted a big club, and he somehow shaved his beard and said, Hey, what if I can throw this giant heavy thing to hurt animals? Wait, I know something that might be better than that. He then cut his hair, I guess, and, and he, he came up with a big, sharp, pointy stick. And he used the bones of the animals he slew as stylish fashion. And then man r started to use these sharp, pointy sticks to go hunting because, hey, meat tastes delicious and I want a double mammoth cheeseburger with extra ketchup. No, they didn't know what ketchup or cheese was, but if they did, they sure would love it. And while there was a lot of meat to eat, man decided to fight over the resources. Why is man always fighting itself? That's a question we may never know. But man learned the hard way, <laughs> like this rock, that fighting amongst each other and means you have to fight the technologies and weapons that you created yourself and- Oh wow, that was beautiful dodgeball, guys. <laughs> that guy actually got hit with a rock. Anyway, and they realized, hey, these sharp pointy sticks aren't very fun. What should we do so that we don't get hit by them? Because, you know, if you get hit in the face, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. So then man decided to take a big husk of a tree and hold it in front of him, hoping that those nasty pointy sticks wouldn't hurt him. But that's the problem when you put circles, <laughs> holes on your shields, guys, is, uh, you know, the, the technology here. But technological innovation seemed to be the force multiplier. Man realized that developing new things was cool. So cool, Ka. But aside from these great weapons of war, man discovered fire. And around the fire, they started telling stories and talking. Communication. Language. It eventually led to them asking questions like, Hey, why are we here? What's up there? Are there gods? And then the shaman appeared. And then man learned to build great temples and architectural wonders. And man wondered, still, what's it all about? Are there gods? And man learned to build better shields and much better pointy sticks. And even learned that you could shoot pointy sticks, wait a second, not only by throwing them, but you could fire them farther using other technologies. And as they advanced in technology, so too did they advance in their theories on mythology and deities and gods and goddesses. And so maybe, that's where they came from. A squiggly bearded Zeus. His, his beard kind of looks like a lightning bolt there. But hey, wait a second. What about the other guys with sharp pointy sticks? What, what do their gods look like? Yeah, these are some definitely different looking sharp pointy sticks. They look like they're really good at cutting and swinging, but wait a second. These don't look like the other guys' gods. Is that Odin? Loki? The deceiver? A Valkyrie because they're cool? And Thor? My god, Thor, what a glorious beard. Who are the real gods? I, I guess we'll have to have a totally accurate fight to the finish to, to really know. Welcome to the Battle of the Mythologies. And as the Spartans were doing a military exercise, the Norse star appeared. And yeah, he looks a little special, but trust me when I say he has incredible... Wait, my game is freezing and crazy destructible abilities, like crashing my game. Where is he? <laughs> what? This is totally accurate. Yeah, so what I tried to do was show off this North Star. He's $30,000, and I don't know. You know what? Let's try it one more time. We just press start. Oh my god. Whoa. Uh, so he just throws a ton of exploding Ura frozen ices, and oh my god, he's still alive this time. Yeah, I don't know what happened in the last one, but my god, the... The North Star is darn near invincible. Ne needless to say, it kicked off a great war. So let's see Thor, Odin, and Loki. I want to see if these three Norse gods can take on an entire army of Spartiate hoplites. Let's see how they do. 
Because Odin is a giant. Okay, we got some lightning. Loki's pretty cool. He's got a spear. He's doing- Oh, Loki cloned himself. All right, we got to see these individually. First, you, Loki. Was he uh, the adopted son of uh, Odin, the Loki, the mischievous? Most of my Norse mythology comes from, oh my god, the cloning is awesome. It's like the Monkey King. Most of my understanding of Norse mythology comes from, uh, you know, uh, the Marvel Avengers, so there's that. By the way, how come we haven't seen a Marvel Avengers mod in so long? Oh, Loki. Naturally, Loki's going to need some followers if he's going to trigger the Greeks and try to cause an international war between the Greeks and the Norse. Greek mythology versus Norse, who's gonna win? The Berserkers just jumped in there. He does have a few brave warriors with him, and he can cloak himself and clone himself and create all sorts of mischief. But even still, I think most of his warriors are dead. Which one's the real one? Oh, God. Well, he, he, he done started the war. One of the great Jarls of Vikingdom was walking with his army, minding his own business, when the Greek goddess Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, decided to lay an ambush. She only had a few loyal followers. Greek Spartans, naturally, because, you know, <laughs> they're pretty cool. And oh my god, Artemis, you got your work cut out for you today. Especially with those frosty-tipped arrows. But, needless to say, the war is escalating. Artemis has an arrow in her clavicle. But I think she's gonna do okay. She can shoot a lot of arrows, guys. Well, the war's escalating. Soon we will have a clash of the titans on the fields of Elysium. Or somewhere cool. Right? Right, guys? So cool, Kyle. So naturally, Odin, god of the thunder, decided to try to have a meeting with... Wait a minute. Zeus, also god of the thunder? Which of you is actually god of the thunder? Anyway, Odin was like, Hey, dude. Stop that. And then Zeus was like, no, nah, dude, you like started it and stuff. Hey, no, I didn't. Definitely wasn't like Loki, the god of mischief, right? Nope. Must have been you. Well, dang, I guess we gotta like fight because it's cool. That is the uh, totally accurate response I was expecting. So the Norse were naturally upset. So they decided, hey, you know what we should do? We should go attack Greece and the armies of Argos and Sparta. Marched out to meet them. Oh, me mortal versus gods. Who do you think's gonna win this one? So, oh man, Odin's getting peppered with arrows. We've got a phalanx, we've got archers, we've even got some shield walls that are mostly knocked out at this point. But, I feel like the Norse have brought enough... Wait, who just flew over here? Is that... Is Odin dead? No, Odin, Odin's taking a nap, guys. He's, he's gonna be fine. I don't know how that happened. Oh yeah, I do. Ballistas. That's how it happened. Oh, what? Well, the gods went to go drink some beer and uh, go get reinforcements. Needless to say, Thor doesn't like to lose and he got a little bit mad. And I'm just gonna say this, he's gonna fight a lot better. He also brought with him a couple of very loyal and absolutely crazy berserkers. So, oh my god, that's Thor, and he's got lightning coming out of the wazoo. Literally. Is there anything that can destroy Thor? Oh man. I wish he had Mjolnir too, that'd be kind of cool, but instead he's just got like, you know, two giant hatchets and uh, that's all she wrote for the Greeks. So, what do, what do we got? So, basically we're playing this mythology mod, right? And there's a lot of pretty interesting units. What is a Satanist? You know what, hold on, let's make an army of Satanists. I don't know, who is Stan? Is Stan the devil? Because he's pretty scary, we've got some Stanists, a uh, Stan himself and a Stan leader here. So let's see how they do against this giant Greek army. <laughs> I mean, it's the Clash of the Titans, but obviously we gotta give some love to some of the lesser known mythologies and factions here in this mythology faction mod. Oh my god, Stan just took a ballista bolt to maybe the left nut. And I, I'm, I'm just gonna say that, Stan, you're doing okay. You're doing better than the, uh, well, that's gonna hurt. Stan? You did, man. All right, we're gonna add these little guys. These guys are called the Stan Bruisers. I think they're supposed to be like demons and stuff like that, but I always thought if there was like more fleshing out of the mythologies in tabs, it'd be really, really cool for some custom battle ideas. So let's see these little bruisers. They look like little green cave trolls, which I like. Are they dead already? Well, I guess after a few times of swinging their giant broccoli sticks around, they, you know, they're a little fatigued. Hold on. 
We've got red versus blue versus green. That's actually like a green. It's like a little baby Hulk, almost. Yeah, the Stannis, they're, they're not doing so good. What about, wait a minute, hold the phone, guys. What about Japanese mythology? So this guy's name is Oni, and he looks amazing. He looks like just the best samurai I've ever seen. We've also got the Monkey King out here. But first, let's just have this new Oni unit try to fight off some of these witch doctors. Oh, sir, you must have been doing something with your spells to where one of your eyes shrank? Oh, you better not fall in the pit of doom, boys, I'll tell you that. So, I, oh my gosh, so the witch doctors have poison abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, that's a bad idea. Oh, he's trying to hold on with his stick. Two of them just fell. And I think there goes Oni. He's kind of dizzy. If he gets up the wrong way, he's just going to fall straight into the pit of doom. If he gets up at all. So I've actually been here for like what feels like a minute or two. And Oni's still just chilling out. We, we got to see him against Samurai though. All right. So he's only about $600. So I'm wondering how good he really is. So we sent six of the best samurai out to fight him. He doesn't look like he's the most combat able. He's, he's hitting slowly. He has dispatched two, three of the samurai. But you gotta remember, even though he's only $600, it is mod, so you never can really trust their prices. Although maybe you can, because check this out. We had 840 versus 600, and they did a pretty good job. Two of them were left, so if you take two off, it's closer. But that's the Oni unit. All right, Loki, how good are you? Oh, well, you're gonna be able to clone yourself, so you should be able to take this guy out. Plus, I think you're like 2,100. Even though he looks like he's from, like, Mongolia or Romania. Yeah, I know they're very, very different things. Hey, hey, Loki's here. All right, Oni versus Loki, who's gonna win? We should see Loki versus the Monkey King. Oh, Loki got stuck on the bridge, which was pretty funny. Oh, I wonder if the real one got sucked up. No, those are visions. Wait, that could be the real one. The real one's here. Loki fell in the river. No. All right, so Loki only costs about 1200 bucks. A Monkey King costs 2000. He's got a leaping ability. Some pretty powerful, like, look at this. This is the two units that can just clone themselves over and over and over. Who's gonna win if you have just massive cloning? Oh my god, I gotta see this on a battlefield. All right, all right, who wins? And here we go, this should be, no. Look at these little pointy shoes, man. We should have like, oh, red victory. Loki won. We should have like an Aladdin, you know, like an, uh, Arabian style units. That'd be cool. Magic carpet. Camels. Well, it's time for the final battle. Norse mythology versus the Greeks. We have uh, Hercules, Ares, Artemis, Zeus, and a Minotaur. Where's Poseidon? Over here on the north side, we've got north side, we've got uh, Odin, Loki, and Thor, this is not very angry Thor, by the way. But let's see how Ares does against Loki and Thor over here. We've also got some Jarls. Zeus is over here and Artemis is over here. And I fear, oh my God, as, as that guy's wings fall from the sky, this does not bode very well for the Norse. Is that because they're just outmatched here? We don't have the Norse star fighting. Oh, we left somebody out. We left out the magical Uras. From, I'm not too familiar with the Norse mythology related to Uras, but this should be a very interesting battle now because although they have Artemis, who's able to fire all those arrows, we still have the Uras flying in here. So there's gonna be a lot more damage done to them. Hercules is able to deflect things. Even when he's knocked down, he's just deflecting all the Ura axes. Ares is over here, mixing it up. Oh, Zeus is still up. Oh my god, Artemis looked like she was down. There she is, she's frozen for good now. It makes you wonder, what would man have to do to defeat all of the gods together? Well, man developed engineering and made great machines of war, black powdered muskets, spinning crazy tanks, because why not, metal and iron armor, and fantastic engineering of ballistas, but they have to fight all of the gods and all of the creatures. 
So we've got giants out here. We've got Lady Jade, the Monkey King. We've got Asian, Norse, and Greek mythology out here present. So I'm actually very curious to see how this goes because there's a lot of musket balls being fired. If they can hit their targets properly, I think, like, if they could take out the Uras and maybe Artemis and stuff like that, I think they have a chance. Because the melee soldiers, the poor halberds and the uh, flanking fencers, they just do not have a chance. I just, I just, I just don't care, man. Like, they're gonna get wrecked. However, if we were to pause it right here, who got taken out already? Most of the Valkyries are gone. There's one Ura. Artemis is still up. We've got the Samurai Giant. Lady Red Jade is up. I think Loki got taken out, and maybe even Thor, actually. Maybe they got taken out by Musket Balls. But I don't know if that there's enough. You know what? They might need some reinforcements from the east. I mean, we have black powder muskets. Let's go ask what other technologies we can use. Well, they got their request. Some brave samurai and this cool technology called the Hawacha. If he can target the right units, who is he targeting? Nobody. <laughs> Okay, the Hawacha destroyed the Da Vinci tank. There may be a little bit of friendly fire going on here. Thor's getting taken out. The Samurai... Oh. They were doing okay until they weren't. The Musket Men are still alive, though. Most of the Giants have fallen, and by most, I mean only one. Actually, never mind. Make that two. I don't know what happened to this one, but look at that. Requesting a little bit of help, and we have an alliance of mythology versus... Engineering and science. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Hope you did enjoy it. Let me know what mods we should check out next time. And if you'd like to see more, thanks for watching. See you next time.